And I think for, I don't know, I'd say you know, from the time I went to college or so, maybe I, I wasn't as focused on it. But I think a few things in the last five or six years have made me a little more focused on it. One is, of course, family and having kids, right? So you like want to have traditions for the kids. And a lot of the time it's like, okay, well, here are the things that I did when I was growing up that I thought were meaningful and the ones that are good you, you want you want to do and the ones that, that aren't. Um, you don't, but, but I, I, I just found having that community and values grounding was, was really valuable. So, so we are raising our, our, our girls to be Jewish and that's, that's just become a, a more important part of our, our lives. So it's like every Friday, pretty much no matter what's going on, we do Shabbat dinner. You know, Priscilla actually loves this. I mean, she's basically, it's sort of a meditative thing for her, but from, you know, I think about Tuesday or Wednesday, she starts carving out like an hour or so of the day to like start cooking the Shabbat dinner. And basically we have a bunch of friends over and like, and it's, it's just like a real center point to the week. That element I think is more cultural. I'd say for, for me personally and for our company, probably for a lot of people around the world, I mean, the last five or six years have been pretty tough, right? It's, yeah. I mean, if you just look at how people felt about our company, you know, before 2016, if you look at like average sentiment around the company, it's like there was almost like never a month when the sentiment was negative. And since 2016, there's almost never been a month where the net sentiment has been positive. There have been so many social issues that have been kind of brought to the forefront that, you know, we talked about this a little bit before in terms of the oversight board and how it's important that it's not just like, you know, one person or one company making all these decisions trying to balance these complex social equities. But now part of me is like, I've kind of, gotten an appreciation for why you know, it's, I, there, there just need to be things that are bigger than you in your life. So even though you know, our country has a lot of struggles, I probably believe more in democracy now than I would have. I probably didn't think about it that deeply before, but I, I just think like, you know, believing in, in, in kind of democracy in our institutions is like sort of a, a bigger force than any individual, I think is sort of a grounding thing. But I think similarly, believing that there are things that are bigger than that, like God, is also just sort of a really grounding thing for me. The more you sort of study the Bible or the Torah or whatever, I mean, there's, there is like just a lot of wisdom in it in, in terms of, you know, how to live your life, how to think about creation and building. I mean, no matter what you're doing, no matter how kind of modern or technological it is, you know, I, I just think that there are interesting lessons. It's, it's really kind of meaningful to me. It's like at the beginning of the the Torah and Genesis, most of like the, the Bible is basically rules for how to live your life. And, but it starts with, it's like, why does it start in this place of, of talking about the creation? And it's it, like, it starts off with like, okay, God created people in, in God's image. And it's like, well, what does that mean? What, what does that mean you're supposed to go do? It starts off talking about creation, right? It's like, okay, how, how God created all this stuff. It's like, yeah, I, I think that there's like a, a real interpretation in that, that is kind of personal to me, which is like a lot of what we are here to do is create good things in the world. And I think that that's like very intrinsic to, you know, it's like when I'm having a bad day or a bad month, I just think like the, there's something that's sort of grounded in, it's like, no, this is like what I think a big part of what we are here to do is, is like build things that make the world better. And I think that that is like a fundamental thing that is, is sort of ancient wisdom. As people face challenges in their lives and as you think about the next generation, I think that these are both things that tend to ground you and tie you to much longer arcs and traditions. And that's certainly been the case in my life.